When you have an ambiguous case, it means it's unclear what case you have. So what I'm going to do is lay out all the possible things that could happen in the ambiguous case. This is how mathematicians handle this. They say, well, not one thing could happen, but in this case, a couple of things could happen. And we want you to know what each of them looks like. Now, the first case is when um, the angle side side, where side 2 is greater than side 1. It would look something like this. So you'd have your angle, your side, and then your side. This case um, establishes a congruence. Um, there is only one way to construct it when side 2 is larger than side 1. There's only one way for that to happen. In uh, case 2, I'm going to come back and explain more here, but don't worry. In case 2, where angle sides, uh, side, <coughs> where side 2 is shorter than side 1, and there's no intersection. Now, this is going to be a weird one. You're going to say, why bother with this? But this is the idea that you have some angle, let's say the same angle, same side one, but side two is shorter than, uh, than the length that's needed, and it doesn't quite close the triangle. You're like, what? What are we doing? Well, we got to do every possible thing when you give two, an angle and two sides. This, is, this uh, issue is definitely uh, one we're not interested in and would cause trouble. Case three is where, again, angle side uh, side, where uh, side two is shorter than side one, but has one intersection. Now what that means is that when we drew this angle, angle here given, side one, side two was exactly the right amount to close that off. Now this actually is a congruence relationship. When it intersects exactly once, perpendicularly, it creates uh, an identical triangle every time under those conditions and actually we call this one HL which you've probably already heard about which is to have uh, a hypotenuse and a leg of a right triangle guarantees congruence. The last one the trickiest one of the group is when you have angle side side where side two is shorter than side one again and you get two intersections. Now how can you get two intersections? Well here's the idea. That angle goes off. Here's that angle we've been looking at. Uh, here's side one. Now if it's not too short, I feel like Goldilocks, it's not too short it's not just right, but it's long enough, it's longer than one touch, so let's say it's here. Here's the problem. I could form this triangle with that angle, that side, and that side, but if I swung this arm, another student could have placed that second side here and formed a different triangle. This is not a congruence relationship because you could actually, with the same data, you and I, if we were asked to draw this, I might draw the angle, the side, and then this side. You, on the other hand, might have done the angle, this side, and the same side to this point, forming two different triangles. Now the problem is, and why we're discussing this, is that angle side side works for the law of sines. But if you don't know which case is in front of you, uh, trouble starts to happen. Now what will happen in each of these cases is that you will be able to recognize what you can expect for an answer. 
if you look closely at the given information of angle side side and you notice that side 2 is bigger than side 1 you can proceed with absolute confidence that you'll get a single answer and it will work out fine. As soon as the second side is shorter, cases 2, 3, and 4, you have to be a little bit more careful about what might happen. If you proceed in this case, you're going to find that an error will occur within your calculations and it will say stop this is impossible so you know it was a no solution one. Here um, you will find that uh, your angle that you'll solve for and will work out will be exactly uh, a 90 degree relationship and then you know you're in this world and then basically if those two things haven't happened you know you're in the world where there are two answers and you have to solve for both of those answers to be correct. We'll look at them up close, uh, but I wanted to give you the big ideas first.